Baker on behalf of FacePaintTips.com and today I'm going to show you how to do a tiger face. And it's going to be on my son Matthew, he's five. You want to wave Matt? Say hi. <laughs> um, tigers can be yellows and oranges like a real tiger, but I usually like to do them in um, different colors. For girls I like to do rainbow colors, yellow, pinks, oranges, purples even. Um, and the boys I like to usually do in greens and blues, with a little bit of yellow, just to make it more of a fantasy tiger. And I learned my tiger, actually it's more like, it's like a Marguerite tiger, he does wonderful tigers, so uh, let me show you what I know. So I always start with the muzzle and the eyes, which is white, you're going to start with your lightest color. So I think today I'm going to use, well white will be in the muzzle, you're always going to do muzzle and eyes and white, okay? The muzzle being above the lip little bit around the nose area and the center I usually do lighter to darker as you're going out of the face so in the center area I'll do some yellow or some maybe some metallic gold I think I'll do metallic gold that's what my son requested and then I think I'll do um, let's see I think I'll do this blue here there's two blues this is more of a powdery blue this is more of an oceany teal blue that's the one I'm going to use they're all diamond FX and then I'll probably work into maybe a um, dark blue on the outer edges, okay? Alright, so let's start with our white. You don't need a lot of water. I'm going to load it up, my white. Okay, sit back a little bit so everyone can see your cute face. <laughs> Alright, let me tip you up a little bit. Alright. Open your mouth. Look at me for a second. There you go. Keep it open for a second. You want, if you ask them to open their mouth like that, then you won't get pain on the lower lip, which I don't like to do. All right, you can close. Oops. I like to go up. And you're sort of making out a muzzle shape there, okay? So that's the white for the muzzle area. I do a little bit white on the eyes. Let me tip you up. There you go. It could go underneath the eyes a bit too, it's okay. Let me do my left hand here. I normally always work right hand, but I don't want to cross in front of the camera. There's some white. It's all going to get blended, so it doesn't matter if it's sloppy looking. I'm going to go to my yellow, metallic yellow, it's sort of a gold color. And then I'm going to splotch it around in the middle. Keep your eyes closed, okay? And I'm going to blend in with the white. I flipped back to my white color. See? And I'm kind of blending it into the yellow. Going back to my yellow to add a little more in. All right, I'm going to go with a new sponge to that color I was referring to that was a medium sort of blue. Got oh boy. And I'm adding it up top and I'm flipping to the non paint edge and I'm pushing on to blend it into the yellow. Pulling it down. Let's do some out by the temples here. Do that some out this way. Get a little more paint on my sponge. And I'm just, just sort of just adding it wherever you think you would like it and then the last color is a darker blue I'm going to add in and I'm going to go back and forth to blend these two I do it a kind of a tapping motion and I flipped over to my light blue there darker blue up here. Let me tap it in with my light blue. You're doing 
good, man. Tap it in. My nickname is Matt. That's what you're telling everybody, right? I'm gonna pull my blue into the yellow a little bit here, cause uh, to make some see it. It's gonna turn into a little bit of green if I pull it in a little bit. So I don't want a really distinct line where that yellow is. And you want to get right to the edge of that muzzle there. All right. Now for my line work. I'm going to use black. number five. Let's use a black. Black oh. one. Because sometimes... So six. Here we go. Number four round. Go on one side of the nostril and paint that in. Okay, all the way to the edge. And then swoop down. Instead of going across, if you go straight across, it looks more like a dog nose. What are you trying to do? Messages? So you're going to have to wait a second, okay? No, look. Look behind you. I can't look behind me right yet. I'll look behind me in a minute. Was somebody sneaking up on me? No, somebody was looking at me being face painted. Oh. And Kim was look, looking at me being face painted. Alright, now you want to stop talking for a second, okay? Alright, let's do your muzzle one. So you have a nose that swoops down to the tip. Layers up at the edge of the nostril. Okay, let me paint, okay? There, now that he's tipped up, I see there's some spots. You're going to do a straight line coming down. You're going to go across the lip, the top lip. Okay, and you want to make a little triangle here, not a big one. You could do that all in one step. Come out, lay your brush down, and then swoop up to a fine point. Come out, lay your brush down, swoop up to a fine point. He really licked his lips together there, so he has um, white all over his bottom lip, but I would normally blacken it out, which I'm going to do now anyway. You can blacken it out. Let me tip you up. You can blacken it out. Boys like their lip blacked out. If it's a girl, what I do is just outline the bottom lip, and I'll do like a pink. Let me do your whiskers. I'll do a pink there and then glitter it. Now, for you're going to put three whisker lines on each side. You, you're doing little... Okay, keep your lips together. You're doing little dabs inwards towards this focal point in the middle. So go down a little more, little dabs, and you're trailing it off as you go. So it ends up as little dots. And then I'll do this side. You're doing good, Matt. Whoops. Fix that there. Go down and then trail off. And your third one. Go down and trail off. All kind of going at this point, sort of at the top of your triangle. Okay? And this point, I got a double spot there. Next spot I'm going to do is the eyes. Girls, I like to do the eyeliner right on top of the lid. The boys, I don't. All right, let me lift you up. Good boy. Keep your eyes closed. So I kind of follow that white little marking we have, so I come out, and then come up, and then I like to come around, and up on that side. For girls, you can close it in, you can do the eyeliner across, however you want to do it. Okay, let me do your other eye. Tip you up. You're, you're putting more pressure on the brush as you're going along to it to make a thicker part of your line, okay? I start real light and then I start to push down as I come up. Now for the middle lines, start right between the eyes, really light, push down, give it a little wiggle, and then let up real light. Make another one on this side, light, push down and wiggle, and then come on up. I'm going to add two more smaller ones between those. Wiggle and come up. And another one, wiggle and come up. And then here's, I'll just put a little dot. I'll make a wiggly mark out here. And make, just to fill in the empty space. Okay, and then you're going to put four more marks on each cheek. 
which are similar sort of squiggly lines. Okay, so you're going to start about midway underneath the eye, halfway between. Start really light, wiggle down, and then pull it up like that. And then you're going to kind of enclose it with another one, like that. Then you're going to do a jawbone one, which is like this, a wiggle and down, and another one, which is a wiggle and down. You're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Now this here should taper to a point. All right, so let me do the other side. Okay. So I usually don't paint this direction. Let's see how I do. So I'm starting at a fine point. Come up, wiggle, and up. Surround that with a wiggly. And then you're going to do a jawline one. Wiggle it. It should be a fine point. And another one. Wiggle. And come out. I'm a little low on paint, which is why that ending is not as clean as I would like. Then you're going to add a few little dots by the eyes at the corner. Okay, tiger. I got a few dots and then you're almost done. Of different sizes. It just adds more interest to it. And you can add fangs. And the fangs, you would just do an outline. The boys like the fangs big. So we have big outline. I'm going to fill those in with white. Are you becoming a tiger already? Here, let me put your teeth on. Oh, she's watching with the binoculars? <laughs> All right. This is uh, number three brush. Whoops! I made a smudge with my finger. I would, if I had a baby wipe sitting right next to me, just take that right off. Okay? Then, what you can do is you would add glitter. So if this was a girl and you had a pink or bright red lip, you could add red glitter or clear glitter over it and it really makes the design pop. Another thing you can do is the, I'm just going to add some white dots in a few spots over the black just to show you how it adds interest. I think it, it just really makes it pop out more. Wave goodbye to the camera. <laughs> anyway, I hope you like the design. If you have any questions, just let me know. Bye.